Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad, and uh, in this whole video we're going to check into the 19th of uh, July 2022 and uh, see what uh, the day has to offer uh, to all of us, and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me guys, or if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes, <clears throat> Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, where you can view and uh, purchase whichever service suits you best. So with that said, uh, the first card for the day, uh, that is going to be the Nine of uh, Wands. Follow up with uh, the second card, which stands as the Ace of Cups. And the last card of the day that is going to be the Knights of Cups. So these are uh, the three cards. That is the elemental dignity of the day here. And the day ain't going to be pleasant uh, for someone from uh, our surroundings. Just give me a second uh, to move the mic closer to my mouth. Right, so the day is not going to be pleasant from, for a, someone from our surrounding. Uh, could be uh, the uh, colleague we are working with or a friend that we do have a certain interactions with whatever uh, whatever the case it seems that some actions or some changes that we are going to exert throughout the day will happen to either annoy aggravate or straight away undermine that particular individual we can see that into the elemental dignity of the nine of wands with the, the uh, knight of cups this is a active enemies and pretty much speaks that uh, what we are gonna do which is going to be channeled through, uh, from uh, not through, but rather from uh, our previous experience. It's going to go straight away against the wishes, the uh, attitude, and as well the determination of uh, of a person within our uh, within our environment, or in other words, the conscious changes that we are going to exert in our career or in our love life. Uh, or into our social circle are going to be disliked and straight away despised by that particular person. What is our relationship with that individual? I cannot say it's going to be different for every single one of us, but I would rather say that up until this point, we were rather on a, a good terms. And this revelation, because uh, this is how it stands for us, making these conscious changes that the day is going to demand based on our experience up until this point, is going to be, uh, be the most logical thing that one can do. I mean, how can you not do it right but for them it seems that is going to be a flabbergasting realization that you know um the rules of life does not bend to their will and one thing leads to another we are going to be flabbergasted as well how is that person not getting it right how is that person not understanding that that is the most logical and practical and efficient as well way to move forward either with the project or with our friendship or even with our relationship now that i said relationship we are entering uh, where uh, virgo it's uh, not virgo oh my god venus it's uh, moving into cancer and this is going to be a very emotional uh, very emotional period of time so I guess the energy is already, um, how can I put it into words, settling. Uh, but <clears throat> suffice to say here, it's important to understand that with these cards, whomever does not link with us based on experience and attitude, then the, these people, they are not compatible. Having the nine of wands there, it is uh, next to, to, to these two cards, the ace of cups and the nine of cups. It's like a mesh, mesh through which only the compatible things can go through. And those who are not compatible, they are going to pretty much not being able to go through. And we can see that by their aggravation uh, as well. Um, 
irritation and so on and so forth and this other elemental dignity that we do have the ace of cups with uh, the nine of wands that just shows our uh, surprise uh, unpleasant surprise that is seeing that how how is this one can just see that that is what I gotta do. It is because it's my, it, it, it's for my own good. It's for my own sake. If if they don't understand that, then what the hell are they, what the hell are they doing uh, in my environment, in my social circle? Why they are um, confessing their love toward me when they want to stifle me and they don't understand that that is the best thing I can do for myself? Whatever it is, is not going to be related to them. It is just. You know, they don't see it that way and they want to exert their own way um, upon us. Uh, as far as these conscious changes, adaptations and also moves, they also are not going to be that very pleasant, but they are going to be very necessary. And should it happen that throughout that particular day, um, any of us kind of like stumble upon someone of interest, like a person that we have um, a, a pull toward, you know, uh, a person that we are uh, mesmerized by and we just have an urge to spend time with them, you should know that that is at least for the time being based on a passion that's not love people usually mix up passion with uh, with love that doesn't mean that love cannot settle but for now it's just a passion so be careful with it and go go slowly with that urge because passion incinerates conflagrates and eventually burns out and so with that said this is the daily tarot uh, reading for the 19th of june 2020 july i'm sorry 2022nd hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we are to see each other next time until then bye